everyone. This is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend. I am a top 1% seller on Etsy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the free version of E-Rank. I get a lot of people asking me how to use the free version of E-Rank because a lot of people demo the paid versions of E-Rank, and so there's not a lot of good resources out there for people to learn how to use the free version of E-Rank to use it to get keywords to help them sell more products on Etsy especially. Okay, so the way that you can use, okay, so story time. <laughs> I'm going to preface this with a short story. When I first started selling on Etsy, I didn't want to pay for anything. I wanted to make sure that my business could be self-sustaining and make a profit before I invested in any paid tools. But back then in August of 2019, E-Rank was more cost prohibitive than it is now. So I used the basic version of E-Rank and it is $5.99 a month. It's just you pay a subscription every month. You can cancel at any time. I'm going to drop a link to E-Rank below if you want to check it out. But that's what I use currently, and it's worked really well for my business. It saves time doing keyword searches using the basic version of E-Rank. But if you're just like, I don't even want to spend $5.99 a month, I totally get it. I was the same way in the beginning. I wanted to make sure I was earning money. And I'm going to show you how to use this tool to help you to get keywords that will help you to sell more products. Okay, all right, so with that said, this is when you log into E-Rank, this is what it looks like. It's changed recently to this interface. So you have your dashboard, your keyword research, you can track competitors, you can see who the top sellers are, trends, pricing, etc. But you'll know when you go through this drop down here that I'm in the free version of E-Rank, so you'll see these little crowns, too, and that's a paid, ver a paid feature. Competition, you can't look at listings or tags. You can only look at this, just the overall sales. You can look at tools, but you can't use some of the tools. You know, they have a little crown. So just be mindful of that when you are using this tool with the free version. So when you use the free version of E-Rank to get keyword ideas, you're not just going to be using this to get your keyword ideas because you have to pair this research with your market research on Etsy to see if it's even a viable idea and if it'll make money. Because when you're doing... Um, the free version of E-Rank, we're going to type in Notion here. It's a type of um, digital planner product. And so this is something that people in the digital product space sell. So with um, Notion, you'll see here that all of the search trend, average searches, average clicks, average click-through rate, that's, that is all, the, all of that data is hidden. But you can see the competition. Well, just because something has low competition for that long tail keyword doesn't necessarily mean that it has a good search volume that people are actually looking for that. So that can be what's misleading with the free version. But you can see here that you can't see it for all these different related keywords. But for just Notion, you can see that data here. It's not hidden at the top. So you would just have to search for each individual keyword that you want to use up to 13 tags on Etsy individually, and you can still get that data. So be mindful of that when you're searching. So let's say I want to start selling a Notion template for the first time. I don't really know what sells. I want to kind of compare listings on Etsy to see what sells. So what I would do is I would go to Etsy. And Etsy's also changed the way that they present like bestseller information and stuff. So I would type in Notion template because that's what I'm interested in making and selling. So I type in Notion template and I see that there's um, average searches 5,349. And the thing that I want to be mindful of when I'm first doing keyword research is are there any products that are popular now? Are there any bestsellers? So you want to sort the data. Here's an all filters thing here. You want to click on that. And then you want to click on star seller because if people are star sellers, that means that they're selling enough products to qualify for star seller, but they also have good reviews. So their products are good. So that's one of them I want, what I want to be mindful of. I also ignore anyone paying for ads, even if it's a popular product because um, they're paying to get that sale. And so I feel like that's not data that's relevant to me. So what I want to do now is I want to just kind of check out to see if there's a lot of bestsellers or popular now, because then that means that that long tail keyword I'm, I'm looking for is actually something viable. And I'm like, OK, I'm interested in creating this. Also, I'm going to be mindful of other things like the price point. A lot, it looks like a lot of these products are selling for over ten dollars. So I'm like, oh, my God, that's that's really good for this kind of product, a digital product sell it for $10, make it once, sell it for $10 indefinitely, that's money. So that looks promising to me. And then I might even also, you know, on a popular product like 
the, the seller, for example, I'll go and I'll see how many sales they have. So they have 7,000 sales. How many products do they have in their shop? Only 60 products and 7,000 sales. And I see what types of things they're selling. They have tons of Notion templates in their shop. They're selling for high price points. I'm like, okay, this per this Notion thing, this Notion template thing, we're on to something with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more research. Now I'm really interested in selling a Notion template. So now I want to kind of get ideas of long tail keywords because Notion template, that might be harder to sell and maybe I can get more niche and then be a bigger fish in a small pond, like maybe ADHD Notion template or something. So I always kind of get some keyword ideas by doing the, the next step of research with an E-ring. So then I go here and I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to go back into uh, E-ring and I'm going to go to listings, compare listings. <clears throat> I'm going to put in this first listing here and I'm going to compare up to four. So that was this one. And so next I'm going to grab this one. It's a business planner. So I'm going to grab this one. We're going to be comparing the tags. So I got that business one. And then I'm going to grab, that's a spreadsheet. Okay, go to the top. We're going to grab this one, finance tracker. All right, so then I'll have these three Notion templates and I'm gonna compare them. And you can compare up to four. I would do at least three for this process. Okay, so then I want to be mindful of a few things. I wanna see how many days the listing has been active. So two of these, this one and this one have been active for a little over a year. And then this, this one in the middle has been up for 79 days. Then I want to look at the daily views because listings with high daily views, that means that they're probably selling this product because you need a hundred visits to at least make one sale. So if they're getting daily views that are high, that means that someone came into their shop and then they viewed it. Even if that wasn't the thing they came into their shop for, they visited their shop and then they viewed that product. So they're getting good, da high daily views on this. So with other products in the digital product space, some will get daily views of like one. So the fact that these are getting 38, 25, and 44 daily views means that they're making sales very frequently. Then I'm gonna look at the quantity available. So most digital product sellers, they put 999 as their quantity available. Some put, you know, 500 and stuff like that. But, um, most people put 999. So we have here 901, 924, and 447. This person could have started at 999 or 500. And with the daily views, I would assume, oh, and this looks like it's the same shop, the Seeker Society. So they may have put 999. And so we're just going to assume they all did 999. So this person, uh, this listing has sold, you know, uh, 98 times and then this one and then this one. So you're going and going, okay, so if this sold 98 times over 367 days, so that means it's not selling every day, but it's selling at this high price point enough for me to go, this is interesting to me, um, I'm interested. But also, this is, it could be you know a seasonality thing. It's a personal financing. And we know with personal finance products that they sell the most at the beginning of the year and then it goes down. So those are all things to be mindful of, but it's sold enough to where I'm interested. So then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look at their tags and I go, okay, let's see what tags they're using, especially ones that they share. So they have on this one, branding, that's kind of interesting. It's only a one word uh, keyword, so it's kind of weird. Marketing, notion, marketing planner. So they're really trying to market this to business people for marketing purposes. The per uh, personal finance one is budget template, budget tracker, expense tracker, finance tracker. I would think that those would be something that people would type in more for like a spreadsheet or a printable. So that's interesting that they're, they've they used these and trying to rank for Notion. Um, but Notion finance, Notion budget, net worth tracker, Notion template, personal finance. So with the colors here, you wanna be mindful of, is if it's red, that means it has high competition. If it's yellow, it has medium competition and then green it has a little bit of competition. So you wanna be mindful of these green ones and you want to look at them and go, okay, so I see Notion Finance, Notion Budget, Notion Student and Notion, Notebook Notion are good ones, Notion Dashboard, 
those are ones that I'm kind of interested in to maybe get more niche with this. So then I want to go and type in Notion Finance into Etsy. And I'm going to see what the amount of searches comes back as 1,679. And then I'm like, okay, well, that means that there's not a lot of competition because that means that there's 1,679 listings competing for Notion Finance as a keyword. So then I'm like, oh, wow, look at all these bestsellers. There's popular now, popular now, bestsellers. Lots of lots of uh, people, bestseller, even that's an ad, but it's a bestseller. This one, that one is a bestseller. Notion template student planner bestseller. But that's for finance. They're trying to rank for that. But that just means that they might have a finance section in there. So I'm seeing that, yeah, there's a lot of people doing that. So maybe I would get more niche with that and do, and do a Notion budget template or just like an overall life planner one where it has a budget section in it. Or my, I might make it a Notion student planner and see if I could sell that and just have a finance section to it. And so then um, I would go, you know, here into E-Ring. Okay, let's look at Notion Finance because, you know, we'll get all of that data for that keyword at the top. <clears throat> so then I have here average searches 62. So that's the total amount of searches divided by 12. And they use rolling 12-month data on E-Rank. So that 62 average searches a month. And then the average clicks is 46. Uh, the click-through rate's pretty good. That means that when people are typing into a search engine and their search intent's met and their competition is 502. So that's low competition. I might be interested in making this because now I see that there's not a lot of competition. I could be a big fish in a small pond with this product. So then I'd be interested in making it based on that keyword data. And you can also do, you see how I typed in that one keyword for the free version? and you know, I can go back to my search results for those three that I was comparing and I can, you know, look at Notion dashboard or Notion student. So I can go back to E-Rank and just type in Notion, Notion student and just kind of see what happens with that. So that's even lower average searches than the finance one, but the click-through rate's higher. So that means that when people type in Notion student and they see what they, they see the results, they're clicking into a, those listings more times. So I might be like, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I'll look into doing a student planner too. And then there's also that Notion dashboard. Wow, Notion dashboard, really high average searches. So I'm like, oh, Notion dashboard, what's that about? So then I'm gonna go to, um, to Etsy, type in Notion dashboard. And then I see here that, the so I know what a Notion template is, right? <laughs> the dashboard is what the dash, when you first open a Notion template, you have your dashboard, right? It's kind of like with E-Rank, you saw you landed into the dashboard, the first landing page of the, the program or the product you're using. So that means that people are looking for a really nice dashboard that they like. And then I would look at the dashboards of these products to see what makes this interesting. So this is a Notion planner template, and it looks like this is a life planner because you know they have all these different you know daily planner, weekly agenda, monthly habit tracker, vision board. It's like an overall life aesthetic, and they're selling it with like these boho colors, and the dashboard looks really appealing. They even have a video showing you what it looks like. So they're going for that really nice like boho, um, 18 to 34 demographic female aesthetic. So the dashboard is really important. So it looks like people are really, and if you're thinking about making a product like this, you want to make sure that the dashboard is like really aesthetically pleasing and super cute for your target audience. And the listing images are really clean for this. So it's really highlighting, they're using the same color scheme in their listing images. It's really making it look nice. So that's something that I would maybe add as a, is a keyword Oh, so here, aesthetic notion organizer. So they're trying to make sure that, they're trying to, meet that demand for the aesthetic being pleasing for the dashboard. So that's something that you want to be mindful of is using keywords that people are looking for, knowing that aesthetic is important with this product. So yeah, so you can just go through and type in for the free version of E-Rank, you know, and get the same data that you get here, but you'd have to do it one by one. So that's the only difference with E-Rank is all of this data here at the top would show up 
for all of the keywords down here, but you'll just have to type them in one by one, which is, a little, it just takes a little bit more time. But if you are just trying to try out the tool, then that would just be the thing that would be limiting is if you have a lot of time, then there you go. But if you want to pay to have some time back, you would pay $5.99 to get the same amount of data and a little bit more functionality. But yeah, so that's how I would use the free version of E-Rank to get keyword ideas and product ideas of what to sell on Etsy.